Hi guys, it is Christina here. So today I wanted to film for you guys this video on this makeup look. This is just going to be get ready with me real fast. I just want to talk about the Kylie lip kits. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on them. This one here is Mary Jo K and this is just what they look like. There is the liquid lipstick bottle and then the lip liner that it comes with and they pair up so well. They do not smudge. They do not go anywhere. Dulce K would not come off in the shower. Like I tried so hard. Um, I actually just applied it. Let's see if it transfers. No it doesn't. See? It just doesn't, it's crazy. These last so long. Honestly, go swimming in them. I would so recommend it. Like, say you're going to the beach or something, like, you could so swim in these. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that although this is part of, like, a really big hype, I think it's so worth the hype. I will have a video on them if you guys want me to show you guys all the colors I have. I have the whole collection in case you guys are curious. There is Coco K, Dulce K, um, True Brown K, Candy K, and where's oh posy k but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video oops let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it and let me know if you got your hands on the kylie lip kits so don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter and for any business inquiries it'll all be down below i love you guys so much and have a great day so first i'm going to be applying my marc jacobs primer this is a nice hydrating primer especially for dry skin then using my l'oreal true match foundation in the shade w5 um, to even out my skin tone, and please ignore this nasty gross pimple in the middle of my face because it is disgusting and truly sorry. But next I'm moving on to cream contouring, and I'm going to be using the Scraptobium palette, which will be down below because it has a bunch of shades, and I think it's super useful, especially for people who want to do some freelance makeup. And yeah, so I'm just highlighting, contouring, and things like that. I'm really not getting into, into specifics because I really just... It's just so self-explanatory. I taught myself how to do it. It's really not that big a deal. But if you guys want a video on it, then please let me know in the comments below. But I'm using my beauty blender to blend out everything. Seriously, you just need one beauty blender. Blend out the lighter shades first and then the darker shades because you don't want to mix up and mess up. But really do try to blend it out as, as nicely as possible. Here it looks a little bit uneven, but we are going to even that out with the powders. Um, but yeah, next reason is it cosmetics. Bye bye something powder. I'm so sorry. I don't know the name of this product because I haven't used it that much. But I do like it for setting the high points of my face. So yeah. But one thing about this powder is that it just comes up in flash. I know, I know. But next we're using a bronzer to set the contour of my face. Here I put it on a little bit too heavy, but it's okay. We're using our Too Faced bronzer brush to blend everything out. And yeah. So next onto the brows, you guys have seen me do this a million bajillion times, so I'm just going to skip over it. But next with my Smashbox palette, I don't know what this one is called, but I love it, it's my new one. I'm applying that shimmery shade all over my lid to add some brightness. And then going into my Tarlet palette, this is the first one, it's my first, uh, it is the first one, but it is my favorite. I also like the second one, which is called the In Bloom one. And using the shade to blend out the outer part of my eye, just make it look pretty soft and effortless. So we're doing so with a blending brush. I love this brush so much. I seriously need to buy a bunch more. They're from Sigma. Um, so yeah, if you're curious about that. But now we're going back into that palette from Smashbox and applying that shimmery golden shade to the outer part of our eye just for a little bit more iridescence to the eye. Now using this Jouer um, liner, I'm using that to make this wing. Sorry, I didn't go into full detail about this, but this is really just to get ready with me. Now with a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, I'm applying this all over my lashes. This mascara is my absolute favorite, by the way. Now highlighting with this Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in this shade pink glow yeah that has to be the name I think it is it'll be down below if it's not but yeah so I'm just highlighting the high points of my face I love this highlighter so much you have no idea but yeah now with my Coco 108 lashes I'm applying these these are my favorite Luster Lux actually got me addicted to them because she mentioned them in a video and I was like gotta get them and Coco lashes are seriously my absolute favorite so now I'm being a little drama queen and picking which of my Kylie lip kits to use for the day and I picked Mary Jo K and I love this bold red shade um, and applying that onto my lips ooh that clip was off. Anyways, so I applied it like that. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys check out the Kylie Lip Kits if they come out again, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I really do hope that you guys get your hands on them and you guys are able to um, enjoy them as much as I do because they seriously just don't come off for anything. It's just amazing. But anyways, I love you guys so much and have a great day.